I've had plenty of rides in all sorts of conditions with the tubeless system now, so figured it was time for a full review. If you aren't familiar with tubeless, we covered the basics in our initial impressions video. In a nutshell, a small high pressure tube holds your tyre bead so firmly against the rim, your tyres in effect become tubeless. Just put the desired pressure into your normal valve, or even no air at all if you want maximum traction. This high pressure tube is protected by a hard plastic casing, so it would be very hard to puncture. The beauty of the tubular system is that it firms up the side walls of your tyres. This means that you still have good rim protection even when running extremely low tyre pressures. And if you do choose to run zero pressure, then the tubeless act as a huge rim lock, so there's no chance of your tyre slipping at all on the rim. For many riders, the tubeless is proving to be a better alternative to the moose. Some of the advantages as we see them are fully adjustable tyre pressure, they're much lighter than mooses, there's no need for messy lubrication, they last a hell of a lot longer than mooses, so they're cheaper over time. Also, there's none of that dead feeling that some do complain about when mooses start to sack out a bit. If you do puncture it, it's normally just a two minute puncture repair with a $3 tubeless repair kit from eBay. And of course, you can always just choose to ignore punctures and keep riding. So when are mooses better? After using them for a year, I'd say the main advantage of mooses is for competition as you don't need to repair a tyre puncture. And while the tubeless does protect your rims very well, a moose does provide a further degree of protection if hitting rocks and tree roots very hard. I'm currently on the stock Michelins that the Beta RR300 came with, so it started at 8 psi and worked down from there. Eventually I found myself running 2 psi front and rear, and the grip just kept getting better and better. What really surprised me was still being able to hit rocks at a fair speed before the rims were being impacted, even at that low pressure. And cornering was still fine. Being able to lean the beater over and not experiencing any of the tyre roll that I did with mooses at a comparable pressure. The final experiment was 0 psi, a good test for these soft 4x tyres. To my surprise, the beater was still very rideable and of course had incredible grip. There was some tyre roll on the rear with fast cornering and I needed to ride over rocks and tree roots a bit slower at that tyre pressure. What is very interesting, a lot of riders are starting to use 6x tyres and just ride with 0 to 3 psi all the time. I can now see why this is so feasible. Overall, I'd say these are an excellent alternative to tubes or mooses for all but the most hardcore riders or those in serious competition.